Little girl, grown. Little girl, grown. You wanna see how I did this? From this, stay tuned. The lashes I'm using are from Fad Lash, which I got these from Amazon. They're mink lash extensions in the size 15 millimeter all the way up until 20 millimeter. The longest I did on these was a 17. So from 15 to 17 is the size that I'm gonna be using. 15 here, 16 all throughout here, 17 kind of in the middle right here, and then 15, 16 over here. And I do like them a little wispy, as you can see, it's like short, little longer, short, long, short, mixed with long. So I like them to look wispy. So, oh. all right, so I'm gonna be using these tweezers, which I got from Sally's. Um, they're very flat, so they close all the way at the bottom, which is why I like these. It's easy to pick up these lashes. If there's any type of gap in your tweezers, it's going to be so hard to pick the lashes off. I'm going to be using this wand brush, which I also got from Amazon, just so that um, periodically I can just brush my lashes to get any of the loose ones out. And I will be using hair bonding glue. You can use eyelash glue. Um, me personally, I like using weave glue, so that is what I will be using. All right, so. Make sure I adjust them. Just so y'all can see how I'm pulling them off the lash tray. I like to grip the amount that I want to take off first. And then I pull it towards me. So that they come off easier. If you pull it in the opposite direction, it's so hard to get them off. You'll probably only end up pulling off like one strand. Do you want to fix the bottom? Make sure they're all going in the same direction. And dip them in the glue. Okay, And I'm just filling in wherever it, wherever um, in the front part, it looks like it needs some more. So I like to go section by section, right in the inner part. Another important thing is after you clamp them, you want to rub any of that glue off of here so that your lashes, when you grab some more of them, do not stick to the tweezers. And I'm trying to push, like when I put them on, I'm trying to push them all in that direction towards the middle so that they can all lay the same way. As soon as I lay them on, I'm kind of like pushing them over so that they have a lash to like lay on. See, this is what I meant. You see how they stick into the...
Okay, and then I want to compare. Where is it thicker on this lash, which is looking like this outer corner, just to make sure I, I make them even. I know I need to add more here, and I need to add more on the ends to make it as dark as it is here. It's pretty dark right here already, so. So I'm gonna grab this tape, which you can just use regular medical tape um, that you get from CVS or any pharmacy. Um, this I ordered off Amazon in a lash kit, so. Um, I got this tape. Oh, I know I'm lying. I'm gonna press on my eyelid, pull it up. And I'm not pressing down on my eyebrow hairs because I ain't got enough to be waxing off. I'm going to stick it down here. I'm gonna clap these together. You need to get it off of your eyelid. If you do have some there, I just rub my lash brush like this across my eyelid and that clears it off. And then, oh, and one. All right, y'all, so that is it for this video. I hope that you guys did enjoy watching me do these lashes. Um, all in all, they only cost about $8 on Amazon. Um, so, you know, this is a nice $8 fix that looks like it costs <laughs> 70 You feel me? Now, they're not going to last as long as them $70 lashes would. The $70 individual mink lashes, of course. These will probably last me a good week. I might have to end up putting a couple on in some spots when they start disappearing in a couple days. But other than that, they'll last me a good week and I won't have to do anything to them. They're not waterproof. Let's go ahead and throw that out there. They are not. So you want to protect these babies as much as you can you can of course use waterproof glue this is one of the waterproof glues that i do use sometimes but i am going to stop using this and find another brand or maybe not even another brand but find another applicator because this stuff is so strong the fumes i was gonna use this but i feel like every time i use it i get an eye infection because the fumes are so strong that you really do need to fan them while you're applying the adhesive so that the fumes are not just sitting on your eyes because my eyes turn red every single time so that's why i didn't use that glue this time but the next time that i do um find a glue that i do like i will bring it to you guys um but yeah this is the finished product i just want to show y'all how full they are looking yes i can brush them there is no glue on my eyelid. But yeah, to remove them, um, all I do is just put a little bit of um, oil on my fingers, rub it together into the lashes. And I usually do this in the shower and I'll just slide them off underneath the water. But making sure I have oil on the lashes while I'm doing it. And then I just like, like to go in with some... Um, soap and water and wash my face real good after I take them off, wash my lashes real good and um, brush my natural lashes with this afterwards. And yeah, they're pretty easy to take off, pretty easy to, to install. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe for more content. And I am one of those girls that do my own hair. I do my own lashes. I do my own nails. So if you want to 
See, I, I tint my own eyebrows. I microblade my own eyebrows. I'm one of those girls who do literally everything themselves. Maybe I'm just a little too cheap to be forking out all this money to a whole bunch of people. But if you want to do it all yourself too, it is trial and error. I'll tell you that much. You can watch me do, have my trial and error moments of how I do this stuff myself. And you can decide, hey, maybe I want to do it myself too because it looks easy and it's cheap and da 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 But yeah, anyways, y'all, I hope you enjoyed this video. And I will see y'all in the next one.